morning with uh, Mia here and in today's video we are going to um, the bathroom with the MD10 range uh, black silky smooth shampoo um, which I dilute more than three to one um, about 10 to one even more uh, up to 20 to one because I find that even though I might need to wash him twice, it's still quicker because the rinsing is quicker doing it twice than doing one big wash with less diluted shampoo and um, rinsing for too long and having a tub full of foam to rinse out and so on. So that's the shampoo. And then we're going to use the Silky Smooth Conditioner on him. Um, I have used this before uh, many times. Uh, I like this range for the show effect uh, grooming. Um, not really used it as a maintenance as I usually try different things. Uh, so this is more of a show range for me and I also use it in the salon. Uh, this one litre tub is about £55. Um, might sound as a lot but this jar will probably last me several months. I had a conditioner bottles this size on a one show dog and three years later, I still had some. So that's um, how good I find it that you need very little of it. So it's one tub will go a long way. Um, and that uh, smells nice. Um, and it does leave his coat very nice and silky smooth. Now, in this video, the review will be, um, I'm going to use it undiluted and massage it straight into his coat after he's been bathed and clean. Um, and we're going to test this um, way of using this conditioner, um, how it's going to deal with his heavy matting, which he's got back here, I'll show you. Right, near turn, turn. Right, now, I do apologise that in this video you will mostly be seeing the back of him, his backside and his butt, but um, not the tail. But this area back here is really heavily matted on him. Uh, I will show you up close. Hopefully you can see all these solid knots. They are matted to the skin. Um, all the way back there, both legs. And now, the reason I think he's matting so badly here, he never used to, it's kind of started about before the summer, earlier this year. So for a few months, he's been matting badly here. Now, the texture, now this hair here, I did take about an inch off it last week but before then, it has never ever been touched. So this has been growing for almost five years on him and the texture has gone really soft and woolly and I think that's the reason why he's matting so badly. Uh, setters shouldn't have a soft texture, they should actually have a quite thick, uh, harsher coat. Uh, now his coat is improving uh, back here. Now this is two weeks unbathed and uh, he's got a really nice flat lane coat with a very good texture up here um, and uh, that's due to supplements really um, and um, but this once the hair dies off and turns wrong texture uh, in 10 years of dealing with setters, uh, I've never seen it to be able to restore the hair back to where it was. It needs to regrow, so I'm probably going to end up cutting a lot of this off um, and letting it regrow, hopefully with a better texture and less matting. But for now, we're going to have to test this MD10 Silky Smooth Conditioner, how it performs on a heavily matted coat. Uh, and still give me nice results um, at the end. Uh, so we'll um, be back um, shortly. I'll, we'll be back um, to show you how I rub this in there 
um, and how to work it in there and then rinse it out. So, see you in a bit. Let's do that for here. It's had its bath now with the shampoo and now we're going to apply the conditioner. So, I'm just going to uh, work it back here into him. <sighs> Sort of very similar way as you would rub, ladies, you would rub a conditioner, so about a dollar like that. Um, I'm going to put quite a lot back here. I don't need to put so much on the sections where that are not matted. Um, and I'm just working it in like that, into the back of his thighs there. And I'll just smear it on my hands and I'll show you. So up here, I'm just going to rub my hands like that into him. And that's enough for the short coat up there. Um, and um, we're going to see how well this uh, Silky Smooth MD10 conditioner performs uh, as a, to help me demat the mess that he's got back here. So um, we'll be back um, just um, before we blast because um, that's very important. Now, another important thing to mention is that uh, at this point, he still hasn't been brushed. Uh, I don't ever brush a dirty coat. You would uh, end up just ripping all of this out. Um, break the hair as well. Um, and of course you would hurt him because that would not be comfortable because an eye brush isn't going to go through that so there's absolutely no point uh, trying to brush that um, and um, we don't brush him under the blaster either I'm going to let the blaster try to um, push the mat out as much as I can and then under the finishing dryer um, I will uh, brush him through under the uh, finishing dryer. Now he's got heavy mat in there and this is a very important section of his feathers there so we cannot lose anything there. So I'm going to massage in a fair amount of this conditioner into um, those areas. Uh, might take a while to rinse it out, yes, but um, this is... Um, um, I'm trying to save his coat and uh, a lot of the coat quality depends on the diet but you do want to pick good products to help you save as much coat as you can. Um, so um, um, we'll be back guys for the blasting. Thank you. blasted and there still are mats but this is now ready to be brushed because to this point this part I have not seen the brush yet now I've dried the rest of him and um, under the finishing dryer and he was matted badly everywhere the back of his front legs um, his front chest um, that was all really matted and this bit is all that came out from all of him except this back section. And uh, we're gonna go brush through this now. Um, there we go. 
So just the same way as I do doodles and poodles, I basically done him. So you see that was um, just a couple of minutes and a couple of minutes of blaster and look at that. Not free and let's have a look what we've lost. So all the hair from that heavy metted area, these few bits, this is all we've lost. Now um, that's pretty good because that's one reason why I've done bath weekly even though he's matted. Uh, because I don't want to be losing this much every week. If I lose this much once a month, uh, means he's got more left back there. And that's why I need good products for me that work. Now, it's not just in the conditioner, but this is exactly why you need a really, really good conditioner. Um, so that the blaster, a really strong blaster, can help you part the hair and push the knots out. And then this is my ne uh, new best friend, um, the CC Chris Christensen. Um, this is a medium big case slicker brush. Uh, second time I've used it on him. I always thought he was going to be too harsh on a fragile set of code like him, uh, but it's actually not. If you brush gently, just like as you watched, still line brushing. Um, it will go through the coat nicely and removes 
very, very little. And this is the knotting. So you see where we started um, with, uh, hang on, just don't pick it. All right, can I my boy? Right, 10, near 10, maybe. Right so you see where we've started um, with this little black devil being solid matted. There's a guilty face. Look at that guilty face. You get yourself into a lot of trouble walking, don't you? Um, and we started with a solid matted back end, and this is a few bits that we've lost. So I need products that work for me very well, um, and that's a good conditioner, CC brush. Um, I have got the coral one as well, um, but I prefer the black one. Um, these are my new best friends. I've had this one for about three years. This one's a few months. Um, and I absolutely love them. And uh, so good conditioner, strong blaster, CC brush, and uh, you can deal with a coat really well. So I'm just going to go finish off drying the other side and then we'll uh, take some final pictures for you. Thank you for watching, guys. And there's this dumpy there. Good boy. Good boy.